Hi guys, today I want to talk about weapon damage and how it fits into Neverwinter's damage formula. I'm also going to talk about how to compare your current weapon's damage to a future weapon, since I know a lot of people will be thinking about switching to a masterwork weapon set in Mod 15 on console. And now that PC has had their double professions event and prices have begun to come down, maybe PC players will be thinking about getting their masterwork weapons as well. And then at the very end, I'll talk about a website I found that has a list of all the ingredients you need to make those weapons. This video was supposed to be short and sweet, but there's actually more to talk about than I originally thought. And there's a good possibility that the way you're comparing your new weapons to your current weapons may not be as accurate as you think. Okay, so the damage formula for weapon damage is your level base damage plus the average of your weapon damage. Then you need to take your weapon's buffs into consideration and how they interact with other buffs. But what is level base damage? It's a hidden base damage that you get just for being a certain level, and it's different for each class. The idea behind it is that as you're leveling up, maybe you aren't upgrading your weapons, but you're still getting stronger because your level base damage is increasing. I'm going to put a link down in the description that takes you to a spreadsheet containing the level base damage for every class in the game, in case you're curious. Uh, it does work different for some classes like HR and TR. Either way, your level base damage gets added to your weapon base damage. And for demonstration, I'll take the level base damage of a level 70 guardian fighter and plug it in. And that number is 173.309784. And that number is going to get added to my weapon base damage. But what is my weapon base damage? Uh, looking at our tooltip on the weapons, we can see that it gives us a minimum and a maximum damage. So in theory, I could use that information to either calculate my weakest hit or my strongest hit, but the better way to do it is to figure out your average hit. And to do that, you take the minimum damage, add it to the maximum damage, and then divide by two to get the average. And now we know that the average damage will be calculated, uh, we can add that to your level base damage, and there we have it. This is the first number, and arguably the most important one that the game calculates, since it's the foundation for everything else uh, to get multiplied to. It's important to remember to factor in level base damage when comparing weapons, because if you don't, your comparison will not be accurate. Now I want to compare the new Exalted Bronze Wood Plus One the masterwork weapon, for Guardian Fighter to the old Exalted Primal weapon. And I will take the buffs that each weapon provides into consideration. For example, I will assume in that each situation you're with four people who are also using the masterwork weapons as well. Okay. So it's the Exalted Bronzewood plus one versus the Exalted Primal with weapon damage buffs included. As a note, uh, masterwork weapon buffs are additive with other masterwork weapons, but multiplicative with other buffs. Another note here is that GF level base damage is 173.309784. Okay, I'll look at the weapon buffs now um, and show you how they interact with other buffs. The masterwork weapons are additive, so I've got the 2%, which is represented by 1.02. And I'm going to add that to 1.08 for a total of 1.1, or 10% total. So if five people have the masterwork weapons, you're getting 10%. Because those 2% buffs all add together to make 10%. But with Primal, it's a little bit different. Uh, you get a 10% damage bonus from it, but they multiply with the masterwork buffs. So in this case, it would be 10% or 1.1 times 1.08. And that's uh, a damage increase of 1.188. So we'll take the minimum and the maximum of the bronze wood, divide it by two to get the average. Then we'll add the average of the bronze wood plus one to our level base damage. And then we're gonna multiply it to 1.1. And we're multiplying it to 1.1 because we're assuming that five people have the masterwork weapons. Right, and now we've got that number here and that's 
3,101.79. And we're going to compare that to our primal weapons. So I'm going to take the minimum and the maximum here. So it's 2059 plus 2516. And we're going to divide that by 2 to get the average, 2287.5. And then we're going to add that number to our level base damage. And then we're going to multiply that to 1.1 for our weapon. The primal weapon gets that 10% uh, bonus. So we're going to multiply that by 1.1. And then we're going to multiply it by 1.08, which is the 8% for the four master work weapons. So we're taking the best case situation here for both of these and comparing them. All right, to compare your new weapon damage to the old, you take the new weapon, which is 3101.79, and then you divide that by the old weapon, 2923.442, and we will now get to see the difference. So the number is going to be 1.061. Uh, so it's approximately a 6.1% damage increase. After breaking it down, taking level based damage, adding it to weapon based damage, then factoring in the best case scenario for weapon buffs, we can see that the Exalted Bronze Wood is 6.1% better than Exalted Primal. But how much will it cost you to get these new weapons? What materials do you need to gather or purchase? Is the cost worth the increased weapon damage? That's up to you to decide. For most classes, you only need the main hand weapon at plus one. But some classes work differently. Combat HR uh, would prioritize their offhand, and TR would need both hands to have plus one, since weapon damage from both weapons is added together and considered. Uh, but if you're interested in knowing exactly what you'll need to craft every item that goes into making these new weapons, a website called Niv's Workshop is very helpful. There's a link in the description below. And if you want to know what, exactly what your level base damage is for the class you play, there's a link below as well. But thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next video where I'll be talking about debuffs, how they work, and how that formula was derived by Sharp. And yeah, if you have any questions, as always, just shoot me a comment and I'll answer you as quickly as I can. See you next time.